Now, this is classified as a hard question, uh, but I would have not thought that at all when I saw it in the test. Not because I, I, I know how to solve it yet, but more just because look at those answer choices. They're nice and short. Usually with these graph and chart questions, they're harder the longer the answer choices are. And then because we got to take in multiple pieces of the graph or the chart, we got to think about the way that the passage fits into all of this. But here, the fact that these choices are really short, it's it's nice. We're just going to a particular row or in column, most likely. So I'll be curious what you guys think at the end, if you think this is hard, but let's take a look at it. So uh, I would still focus first on my, uh, not. I don't really read the chart very much. I go to the passage and just kind of see if they're asking for something in particular. Uh, Julianne I. Moses and colleagues have reported that Neptune may have cooled significantly between 2003 and 2020. The team reached this conclusion by analyzing existing infrared imaging and spe spectroscopy data about the planet obtained from various instruments in different years. Of the team sources listed in the table, the earliest example of spectroscopy data included in the analysis was obtained in. Okay, well, there's two types of data. Spectroscopy is one of them right? Infrared imaging is the other, and the earliest one is here, 2006. So there's this Visor thing. So not Texas, not T-Rex, Visor. That's it. And that's the answer. That's the whole thing, guys. So what do you think? Is this hard? I don't think so. I, you know, I have a suspicion of why this might be, you know, end up being a hard question. It's, it's less to do with its actual difficulty and more to do with just our collective inability to read instructions. Because a lot of people, I think, are just going to go, oh, 20, 2003, right? That's the earliest year. So that's the infrared, that's the LWS, right? So there you go. I think choice D is the trap answer. Because a lot of people are just going to read the word earliest and just be like, oh, there you go, I'm done. I don't actually think it makes it harder to specify that it needs to be the earliest spectroscopy thing. Like it, it, this is this is why reading instructions is mostly what the SAT tests. You know, if you fell into that trap, if you pick D here, you just need to read carefully. Like it's not like these words are hard. Spectroscopy is not hidden somewhere in this chart. It's it's in a in a column where they say data type and the only words in any of the cells of that column are either spectroscopy or infrared imaging, it's not buried, guys. So if you're getting this wrong, you know, my, my word of wisdom here is, I guess, just like, be humble. Realize that you, you just, you've, you're, you're assuming things, you don't even realize it. You think you're smarter than you are. You've got to read instructions. A lot of people through all aspects of the SAT, they just neglect that. They, do, they don't read instructions. They don't think they need to, uh, maybe because of the times in your real life where you can skip the instructions for a video game or building a desk or whatever it may be. But gosh, it's right there, guys, in black and white. This is not a long passage. This is not a complicated chart. This is not a complicated set of answer choices. There's really no excuse for getting this wrong except laziness and carelessness.